Hi everyone, it's Winona the Left-Handed Beater and I'm here to show you some items that I finished um, just recently from the September 2021 Sam's Bead Box and Darling Beads um, monthly subscriptions. Um, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I just have such a, I, I just did a video, uh, unboxing video and I haven't put everything away yet. I'm still really kind of emotional about it. Um, I've noticed the kindness is just overwhelming. But anyway, um, uh, in case you didn't see that, that video, um, I've started a Facebook group. It's a show and tell kind of Facebook group group if you want to sell you can sell try to sell on it I can't guarantee anything will sell but it's just I, I in the quilting world um, we get together quite often um, at the quilt shop at the local quilt shop and we take classes and things and we always have what we call sew and tell and people bring what they're working on and show what they're working on and I find it very encouraging and I also find it very inspiring and um, there's a lot of groups. This is originally for my junk journaling that I wanted to set this up. That's why it's called Dairy Barn Art because that's what my junk journaling channel is called. But um, I found it hard. Like I would post videos or I would post links and to what I'm doing and then I would get it removed because I didn't follow the rules because I couldn't do this and I couldn't do that. And I finally decided I'm going to start my own group. I'm not going to have any rules unless it gets to the point that we have to, but the only rule is kindness, is um, is be respectful. People are, are bearing their soul when they show their work, and everyone's at a different level, and everyone has different taste. So if it's something you don't like, don't comment. Um, like my mom used to tell me when I was growing up, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And that's kind of my mentality about it. If you, if you want to, you can encourage people. I, I want everyone open to this. I don't care what your passion is. If your passion is reading a book, share what books you're reading. Um, I know a lot of people I know love to read and would love that inspiration. Um, if you if you create, show what you create. Send put a picture up there and show us what you're creating or working on. If you hope to sell it, put it up there. Try to sell it. Um, if you want to give other people credit, let's say you watched someone's video and you got inspired by them, or you bought something from somewhere and um, you want people to know so they could buy it, share a link. I don't care. Even if it's competing with what I'm doing, I don't care. Um, I want, I want this a place for us to sh share is basically the thing I want. So anyway, I'm, I'm getting off of that and I'm going to show you what I made with this, the, these, I combined these two bead boxes this month because I was really struggling with it. And, and actually I ended up canceling Darling Beads because I was struggling and it was just taking me too much time and I was getting frustrated. And I also ended up canceling Sam's. But then I got Sam's <laughs> and the October one and no, I saw it. I No, no, I got it. I, I did get it. And it was so beautiful. And then I, I um, in the video, I said, you know, like, I'm, I can, I'm canceling this. I've, I've canceled this. Um, please give me the strength to not subscribe again. And then Kath, wonderful Kath always leaves a comment and she says well I'm the wrong person to ask about buying beads and then she says but it does make me wonder what the Christmas box will look like so I told my mom this and my mom well, she just laughed and she said just subscribe just subscribe so that's what I did I subscribed again and I might subscribe to the darling bead box but right now um I just needed some time. I just needed some time. But anyway, let's get off of that. This is the beads that I never know what to do with that come in these boxes that just blow me because I don't know what to do with. And that's the donut beads. I had no idea what to do with the donut beads. Um, and they were quite small and it really floored me. So I went online and I searched for videos and I found a really old Potomac bead, Potomac bead one. And I made this bracelet. And I used the, there's the, the donut beads. And I used fire polish beads from Michaels. 
and some seed beads that I had. I actually bought two of these by mistake, which was a good thing. I went through a whole container of this smoky amethyst. And then I had a, a, what's that called? A cup button or whatever closure, a button closure. So I, I made that one. But as I was making it, it's a right angle weave that you end up, um, the way you put it together in the end, it folds over that. And it's actually very, I should take this off and show you. I should take this off and save it. I love that bracelet. But when you put it on, it's more like a bangle. Just give me a few minutes. My fingers don't always work. And um, it exposes the fire polish more. So it's quite sparkly. It's, it's, it's almost elegant. Um, and then the, the donut beads pop up. So anyway, while I was making that, I was debating when I got the, the, the kind of three rows, I was debating whether I should leave it there and not add the fire polish. And then I decided, you know what, there's enough donut beads. There's, there's enough other beads that you could, um, you can make it the other way too. So I made this bracelet and instead of folding, yeah, that's the right way. It's not very, like it's all kinky in that. That's just kind of the way I flow. <laughs> but anyway, it's got the donut beads in there. And it's got pearls from the Darling Bead Box. And then these crystals from the Darling Bead Box. And then I put it on a, two magnetic clasps, which kind of was a mistake because they all stick together. But there it is on. And I think even though it's waggy and jaggy in that, I could spend time trying to perfect it, but you know what? I don't care. It is what it is. So then, so we we're taking care of those donut beads that we didn't know what to do with. Then we had, what did we have? We had the dagger beads and we had saucer beads that I, I thought, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. So, um, first off, I made a bracelet based on a, a pattern Emma had. Um, I didn't want to string these saucer beads because the, the prettiness is in the side. And if you strung them, you wouldn't really see that. So I altered, a, I'll try to remember to post a link to Emma's video where she makes a necklace. I started off her pattern, but then I changed it up and I made it into a bracelet. And I, I learned a lot. I actually ended up, when I added this um, closure loop thing here, I didn't make it big enough. And then I, I ended up tying everything off before I, I measured, like made sure I could close it. And yeah, I had to take it apart and Put it back together so i'm going to quickly put this on and this hangs down on your wrist kind of like that kind of i don't know why i think caveman fridge fringe but that's kind of what i think and you could put it the other way too but i just thought it was something a little different and then it showcases these little beads as well so i liked it so much and and i i held it up and i said you know this should be a necklace but I wanted a bracelet. So there were enough beads left that I could make a bracelet, a bracelet, a necklace. So I made a necklace to go with it. And I will show pictures of this at the end. And you can wear it either way. Like if you, if you want that, this kind of finish to show, you wear it that way. And if you want to be a little more subtle, you wear it that way. But yeah, there. I did it. Now, lesson learned on this one, because I learned something. Every time I do something, I make mistakes, and I learn from my, well, I hope I learn from my mistakes. I don't always, but but I'll acknowledge my mistakes. If I make a mistake, I'll tell you. I use the um, beige, I think that's what it's called, wildfire. When I would, when I did the whole necklace, which wasn't a big deal, but when I did the, the chain or whatever for the 
necklace, I should have switched to the black or the gray. But lesson learned. But anyway, yeah, that's what I did with those beads that, you know, I just don't. And that's one of the reasons why I was thinking of canceling the subscription box because I was struggling with these things. But you know what? I got some really nice pieces in the end. Like, who's going to have a bracelet like this? You know, I think it's pretty cool. And then to have the matching necklace. And then look at this. Like, well, besides, it's kind of cool in its wonkiness, you have to admit. You know, <laughs> you have to admit that um, not too many people would make this and be proud to wear it. But, but I am. I am. Um, like, I just started beading this year. So, I think it's pretty cool. And I'm going to show this on my Facebook group. But anyway, so that's it. I did make some other stuff, but I'm not finished it yet. And it looks like I may be heading up to Regina to see my mom. And I may not be home a lot in November, so I may not get any videos up for a while. So if you're the type that kind of worries that something's wrong, that I'm not posting videos, I'm okay. It's just that I'm not home. And I'm, I'm spending time with my mom and my family and kind of taking care of other stuff this, this month. Anyway, I wish you lots of luck and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.